Hi everyone, welcome to my playlist Getting Started with Git and GitHub. Today I want to introduce you to the new GitHub authentication system using the SSH keys. It is very important for you to know this because it is soon going to become a basic feature of GitHub and you won't be able to use GitHub without it. The process for setting up SSH keys in GitHub is fairly simple. All you have to do is run a series of commands in the terminal and you'd be good to go. Besides that, you'd have to add the key generated in your GitHub as well. So follow this video and I'll show you how that's done. First of all, you have to navigate to github.com. If you do not already have an account, click on sign up. Since I already have one, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So I currently do not have any SSH keys set up. So let's try to clone a repository using SSH right now. It's supposed to fail, but I just want to show you how that would look like. Click on SSH. By default, usually HTTP is selected, but that doesn't matter anyways. So copy the URL of the repository, go to terminal, and then try to clone the repository. Get clone and the URL of the repository. Let's hit enter. So as expected, it gives an error. It says permission denied. Public key does not exist. So let's go ahead and now try to set up the SSH keys. We'd have to first go to settings from over here and then click on SSH and GPG keys. Then GitHub provides us a guide for generating SSH keys right here. Click on this. Right, so from this, the part that we are interested in is generating a new SSH key and adding it to the SSH agent. So let's click here. So to generate an SSH key, you have to run this command in your terminal. Replace the email with the email that is linked with your GitHub. If you do not know about your email address, you can go to settings from here. And yeah, over here, you can click on emails and it will show you the email that is linked with your GitHub. So let's copy this command and run it in the terminal. I'm going to go ahead and replace the placeholder with my actual email address. Now you have to enter the file in which you want to save the key. You can leave this blank. I'm going to do just that. Says the file already exists. I'm going to go ahead and override that. You can enter a passphrase and then in the next one, it is going to ask you to enter the same passphrase again. I'm leaving that blank. You can as well. So the key pair has been generated and it is saved at this location. So let's move on to the next step. Which is adding your SSH key to the SSH agent. For that, you have to first run this command in the terminal. And then you have to modify the config file, which is located at this location. You can do that in Mac by using the uh, nano command. And we have the config file open now and we have to copy this text in our config file. So let's paste it here and save the file by using control X. And then type Y and hit enter. So now to add the SSH private key to the SSH agent and store your password in the uh, passphrase in the keychain, you can uh, copy this command and run it in a terminal. It has been added and the last step is to add the SSH key that has been generated to your GitHub account. So let's click here. To copy the SSH public key, the public key is the one that we want to add to GitHub. Uh, you can run this command. So let's copy it and run it in the terminal. 
uh, what it does is it copies the public key to your clipboard and now you can just go ahead over here click on SSH and GPG keys then on new SSH key and paste the public key that has been copied over here you can give it a title I'm going to call it uh, MacBook Pro just to identify which uh, system I'm using it on and the key has now successfully been added let's try to clone the project that we tried to do so earlier again and see if it passes let's copy the URL of the repository and try to clone it again get clone repository link as you can see it is cloning the project now to my system so that shows us that the process was successful and the SSH key has successfully been added to our system. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any recommendations or questions, you can drop them down below in the comment section. Have a good day.